guys. Um, fucking hell review. Okay, you're going to be reviewing a beer that was sent to me from Jens from Germany. Uh, I tend to say that a lot at the uh, beginning of my videos recently. <laughs> he did send me a lot of beer. Um, this is from uh, the, sorry, the um, Monarchy of Musseland Brewery. And this is the son of a batch, Dark Ghost, sorry, Dark Ghost, uh, brewed with hickory wood. So there you see it. He did send me a Goes before, which was really, really nice. It's a style, it's so original and unique. They sort of brew it with salt and coriander, and it um, just gives it such a zesty, refreshing flavour. It's definitely um, a sort of beer that you'll either love or hate, I think. So I'm really excited to try this, a dark Goes. Um, comes in at 5.2%. Um, let's have a look on the thing. It says... Uh, the ingredients are water, barley malts, wheat malts, hops, coriander, black lava salts, hickory wood and yeast. And it's got artificial shit with a cross for it, <laughs> which is quite funny. Um, right, so I think these guys are based in Germany. I'll have to add it in the description. So, let's give it a go. I've got another one of these brewed with apple apple wood, so it'll be interesting to see the difference between hickory and apple. I'm, I'm assuming it'll be a sweeter smelling sort of smokiness uh, with the apple wood. Uh, so there we have it, it's got a massive head, a nice sort of uh, coppery sort of colour, uh, quite murky looking, but yeah, huge head, big fat bubbles, uh, sort of off-white, slightly off-white. Let's see if I can get a nose on it. Hmm, not really getting much on this. It's strange, I'm getting like a, almost like a sweet uh, peach skin or something like that. Hmm, yeah, um, there's like a slight sort of um, odd rubbery sort of smell, but you can get that. You are getting those wheat wheaty malts coming through as well. Uh, the, the coriander, uh, those sort of traditional wheat wheat beer sort of smells, uh, which is quite strange because I didn't really get them on the uh, the go side before. Yeah, you definitely get the more you smell it, the more you get the wheat beer sort of smells, but. Right, let's just give it a go. So I was expecting it to be a bit of a smoky smell, but let's give it a go. Jens, thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Oh, that's got a really nice sweetness at the end. Oh, I'll tell you what. It's not as um, tangy as the other goose I had, the Ritter Guts, but it's got those um, ghost elements. As soon as you drink it, <clears throat> you're getting a very tangy, sort of crab apple, salty uh, coriander taste. Um, but it's not as, like I said, it's not as um, strong as the Ritter Guts. But then once that fades, you get this very, oh, it's hard to describe. It's like a, a wheaty cream, a creamed wheat uh, flavour. Almost like it's got a, a sweetness to it as well. Like a, a shredded wheat, it's, it's like a cereal we get over here with loads of milk and sugar. Um, you're getting that at the end and a nice very slight sort of citric tang as well at the end. Um, this is really tasty, really really is. Mmm. It's definitely a style, one of my top styles now, Ghost. I love it. I just love that sort of apple-y tang, which is so refreshing, combined with that coriander. Um, it's beautiful. It really is. Nice light body, medium carbonation, even though it had a massive head. Um, lovely, creamy, tangy, sweet finish. Um, it's definitely a beer you need to try. If you've never tried a Ghost, give it a go. 
Um, as for the hickory, I don't know. I can't taste any hickory in it. Maybe that's a sweetness at the end. It could be. It could be a hickory sweetness at the end. Um, I'll try the apple wood one soon as well, and, and then uh, compare them one after the other. But as that is, that is a beautiful tasting beer. That's going to get a solid eight and a half out of ten. That's really, really good. Uh, son of a batch, dark ghosts brewed with hickory wood. Um, so give it a go. What's the name of that brewery again? Monarchy of Musselland. Um, I'll put their website in the uh, description because they do look like an interesting brewery. The label's really interesting. So eight and a half out of ten. Jens, thank you very much for sending. I'm gonna pour the rest of that in my glass because it's lush. And um, I'll see you guys again soon for another Viking Hour review. Cheers.